Hey everyone, um, good day and so glad to see you guys. Uh, I've not been showing my face. Today I'm going to start with my new series which is like my sewing vlog. I'm just going to show you my sewing progress. Uh, this come about because I realized that there is so many YouTubers teaching you things already. Another thing that I would want to do is to be less perfectionist. Not that the work I'm doing is very perfect but to not retake so many times. I also plan to speak more naturally. It looks quite a personal practice because I have this crazy speaking anxiety when I'm with people. It's either I'm afraid of speaking or I'm afraid of people. Therefore, it starts this vlog series. Well, I hope you enjoy it! My coffee machine sleeps right next to me. This is my own dress and I'm going to cut it. Now I know why other YouTubers have white tabletop. So I made a hole before cutting in and not just cut through the entire thing. Just to make sure it's correct, so I'm gonna match both sides. I use a cotton bias tape to wrap around the sides. Fold the top part in before I pin it. I kind of snip a little here so you just need to fold it over and sew it at the side so I fold the bias tape into half and I sew across it to make four strips I do stretch my skirt to get the correct measurement, which is I guess about 19 inch. I cut up a lining fabric according to the size. I have this hemming footer and it's supposed to help me hem faster. I'm gonna try it today. My machine couldn't grip the footer, but I'm going to quickly show you how it works. As you can see, there is a curly whirly folding metal over here. And what you're supposed to do is to take your fabric and slide it in and continue sliding it in until you are able to make a fold. So it will look like this. This is how it looks like after I fold the elastic band and sew them together. So this is the inside part. I also finished hemming the bottom lining. And here is the final dress. Pick up this book from the library. I found it quite interesting because I'm a Chinese and it says fun with Chinese nothing. Maybe I'll just let you have a sneak peek. And here you go. These are like little formations that was placed on the clothing itself as a decoration. The collar with some on the sleeves. A little history of knots, um, how they are made and what are the materials. Yeah. 
and of course there are also pages on the how to's I'm going to start with tassel knot There you go. I'm gonna release the pins. So this is the easier one and maybe we can try something harder. Let's try this one. It's called a framing knot. Release the Kraken You can see they are all like facing all opposite directions I'm not very really sure where to pull I don't know what went wrong and So these two areas has like a more more obvious formation going on but the rest is just a big mess so this is how it's supposed to look like and this is what happened to mine See you on the next video. Bye bye.